Good morning, Rabbi Sai. Ah, Lili Nishma Simim Rossi Ruspas Mordechai. Very, very special day today. We have the three main characters over here all lined up. It's been months. All three of them together. Wow, unbelievable. In anticipation of my upcoming 21st wedding anniversary, I remember someone at our engagement party in Manchester wished me a welcome and Mazel Tov and then asked, what Masechta are you learning? I don't remember what I answered, but I certainly wasn't learning any Masechta. And it was a funny story to repeat for years to come, especially because anyone hearing Masechta and Joel Mizrahi in the same sentence would surely have a chuckle. Today, 20 years later, 21 years later, I have a strong and proud answer for that nice, curious Mancunian. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I just finished Yivamot and I'm about a quarter of the way into Ketubot and about a third of the way into Shas. Just finished Yivamot, he's about a quarter of the way into Ketubot and about a third of the way into Shas. Thank you Hashem, Petaira and MDY. Also attaches a video of my daughter doing Good Morning Raboisai. I don't have that video here. Raboisai, check this out. On last Sunday's year, when you held up Ami magazine with President Biden on the cover, you missed another important article about the from firefighters of the Muncie Fire Department. I, I, I didn't realize I was giving out the whole Army magazine, but okay. One thing to clear up though, KJFD Fire Department probably had the first from chief, but Muncie Fire Department definitely has the first fire chief who finished Shas twice. And on his third cycle of Dafyoimi, which the article didn't mention due to Chief Chaim Jacobson's ANOVA. Here's firefighters, Morty Strauss and Shmilo Hoffman with the free Gemaras. I don't know what that says. It's not about what kind of yarmulke you wear or whether you like engine work more or truck work more, firefighter joke. It's about the yoimi and helping people. Firefighters, unbelievable. No, seriously, if you're a firefighter, it's a tremendous opportunity to learn chess. You have all that downtime. I enjoy coming to your shir every morning. It's a very geschmack to do the daf. Where is he? Is he here now? Is Shui Vilensky here? Efo. He used to sit over there. Well, maybe I should read this when he's here. Okay, next. <laughs> Bensi Friedman will love this. Because I mentioned about Bensi Friedman, who is not so into the good morning. Your boy say, she says, <laughs> love it. He would love it. Shmuel Bein, can I have this autographed? <laughs> All right, the anonymous sponsor for the Koilal is L'schus, all the new people that joined Mesech Subas. By the way, Mesech Subas Volume 2 is available already. And for some reason, they only have, I think, maybe 200 copies left. So Chaparayim, there's only 200. They, they already pre-sold or something, pre-gave out. So beautiful. The Masechta is sponsored. Lili Nishmas Moshe Allah Zabinot Shalom and Lili Nishmas Yisbaro by Moshe Aaron. Shalom Aleichem. And for that, Slocha B'chol and Yonim for my children. The second sponsor for the Masechta is Jeff Rasner. In the of my son, Yosef Simcha Chaim Ben Sora Chana Refua Shleima. The Paras HaChoydish by the Lack and Loving Families like in New Jersey because Torah is the best gula. Paras HaChoydish number two. Shragi Chavitz, RL149. is the for my family, myself, and for the Tzadikim of RL Atzala. Parnas HaKhoj number three, Lili Nishmas, Zechariah ben Moshe. Parnas HaKhoj number four, Benji and, es- and Esti Israel and family in memory of our Zaydi Moshe Menorah and three cousins. <laughs> it brings chills every time you say it, no? They all died in a plane crash, small plane. Sa- Sarah Klein, Ricky and Racheli Menorah are the 12th yard side. The Neshama should have an Elio. Making an Allen, yeah. Lulishmas, my dear sister, passed away at age five. Leia Bridal Basit Chok Tzvi Olei Shalom Gimel Menachem Moz. And Mazel Tov Takiva Ziegler. Mazel Tov. He had a grandson today. Mazel Tov. Wow. Okay. I don't know what to do over here. What are we going to do? Can we get it over here? We are holding the top words of Daf Chofei Omer Al. Right by the first word. So just to review a little bit. There's a story where Ezra came up to Eretz Yisrael with 40,000 Jews. Ezra brought them up. And (laughs) they were paying attention. He brought them up to Eretz Yisrael. And they wanted to see if these 
koyhanim that he brought up are available to perform the Avayin of Migdash, and they all had to produce documentation. So there were some families that couldn't produce, and Nehemia told them that they're puzzled. They're no good. But the Gemara wants to know if we're discussing. We discussed. How, do you, how could you tell if somebody's a kind? Based on an aliyah, could we tell? Based on a signature in a star? And the other thing was based on Birkus Kahanim. He goes up to Duchen, can we prove from that that he's a Kayan and marry and Yuchsen and stuff like that? Says the Gemara, but Luchaira, if they ate Truma and Babel and they Duchen and Babel and they came from Babel to Israel, they're going to continue eating Truma. They're also going to continue doing Duchening. Nobody's going to stop them. So if you're telling me that you marry based on Duchening, here you have a problem. Nechemi says they're apostle and there's no marrying them. But they're duchening. So you see that duchening doesn't do anything. Says so Gemara, no. Duchening perhaps is a good right. But specifically these people, it wasn't a problem because these people didn't eat karbanas. Everybody knew this family doesn't eat karbanas. If they don't eat karbanas, then you can't marry them. Why don't they eat karbanas? They eat truma, they don't eat karbanas. Something's wrong here. I they duchen, but they don't eat karbanas. So it's reyaches kesayu. Well, they eat a lot of meat, just not karbanas. <laughs> Says the Gemara. Now, if you hold that you could marry into a family based on Birkas Kahanam, over here there's no chash because of Rechaz Kesayu. The Gemara started off, Rabbi Yossi says, Chazaka, the status that these people have, they, they were eating truma, and they were eating the Birkas Kahanim, is very, very powerful. It's amazing. What good does it do? They can't marry based on it. You can't marry them. So why is it so powerful? What are you telling me? G'doy Chazaka. So that's where we're holding top words here. Belamai G'doy Chazaka. What was so powerful about this Chazaka? says, Gemara, Mikara Acho Betruma Dirabbanon. Where were they? They were in Chutzlars. They were in Bavel. So truma in Bavel is only the Rabbana. Hashta achul betruma de raisa. Now they come to Eretz Yisrael. Based on their eating truma in Bavel, they're going to eat truma in Eretz Yisrael, which is a higher level. So why? Because of the chazaka they had. G'day la chazaka. It's such a powerful thing, the chazaka, that they're able to eat truma de raisa. Vibay say ma hashta nami betruma de Rabbana achul. Here you go, the chart. So... We're talking about trumas and maestros. If a person has, he has a crop, he has to give 2% to the kayin, truma g'dayl. 10% goes to the levi. Yeah, you guys, levim, levim, all the levim, 10%. Tomer's levi, we have a ton of levim here, wow. Yeah, and Yosef Biliak, okay. Now, huh? Who? Who? So, the, here's the list of fruits. From this whole list, only grain, geffen, wine, and zayas oil. Those are the only things that you have to give truma midoy raisa. Vegetables, for sure, they're abanan. And other fruits, l'chayr, they're abanan, but machlaik is fine. So the Gemara says, hashtanami bitruma de rabbanan, another pshat. Until now, they were eating vegetables, the truma of vegetables, truma of apples. The truma de raisa le'achal. And they didn't eat the truma of the grain, the truma of the grapes. The chimaskinam, the truma le'yuchsen, the truma de raisa, the truma de arbona le'maskinam. Okay? So, when do you elevate somebody to go from one level to the yuchsin? When a person eats the real deal. When he shows that he's eating grain, truma, then we can say, okay, then you can marry him. Otherwise, just eating vegetables, not so much so. So what? So then where's the chazaka here? You're saying he can't, he can't go from the rabbanon to the raisa truma, because otherwise, if you go to the raisa truma, you're going to marry him. So then where do you see the power of the Chazaka? 
Because at the end of the day, how could you allow this guy to eat truma? Vegetables and truma, apples and oranges, he might come to eat olive oil. So since we're not geyser, you see that we rely on a chazaka. It seems like you could eat from the Da'iraisa Truma, because it says in the Pasuk, What does it mean? They didn't eat, right, by Nechemia. They didn't eat the Kodesh HaKadoshim. Kodesh HaKadoshim means the Karbanas, the higher level. Kachim is higher than Truma. So it seems like those families only didn't eat Kachim, but they ate everything else, meaning they ate the real strong Truma. So now the Gemara says, no. If you want to go back to this Pasuk, we said means Nechemia, because he was mutter hitru lishtois. He was able to drink wine. They made a special hat for him to drink stam yeno, because he worked for the king. What do you say? So typically in the Torah, Kaddish HaKadoshim means the Kaddish HaKadoshim, the, high, the, holy, the holiest of the holy. Over here, we're going to use those two words as two different meanings, Kaddish and Kaddish. Kaddish and Kachim. You have Truma is Kaddish and Kachim is our Karbanas. It's referring to two things, truma and kachim. What does it mean that uh, a daughter of a kayin who marries Yisrael, she should not eat kachim? We're talking about karbanas. Something that was removed from karbanas. What, what's removed from a carbon? If a person has a shlamim, kachim talim, so you take the chaz of a shayik, you take the, the, the breast and the thigh, and you give it to the kayin. That's already kachim. So you see two things here in the pasuk. You see truma. You see kachim. Those are the two things that the pasuk is referring to. Not so. Don't make a deal. Oh, they couldn't eat the kodesh hakadoshim, only the korbanos, but everything below that they could. No, even things below that are included in that pasuk. Tashma. We still want to know if you see a kain getting up there and duchening, could he? Could you marry him? If you have a woman who has a lot of yichos, could she marry him? Is it a good ride that he's a kain? Chazaka lekuna. What's a good chazaka to prove that somebody's a kain? Nesius kapayim bebavel. If he does dochening in bavel, I don't know what Ashkenazim's excuse is because you see that they did uh, berkes kehanim in chuslarts. Why could you do Nesiyah's Kapayim in Babel? Because they had a very strong Bezdin. Nobody could just get up there and say, oh, I decided, my father told me, I heard a rumor that I'm a kind. If you got up there and you did Nesiyah's Kapayim, you were the real deal because you had to go through a Bezdin. Babel had a real Bezdin. If you eat Chala, what's Chala? You take off a part of your dough and that's Truma. That's like any other truma. It's a isa rice, it's a chiv rice, it's all. We'll see in a second. Now, Surya. Where's Surya? Surya? Syria. Aram Tsaiva. They're the capital. David Amelech went and captured Syria. Surya. It was a kibush yachid. And we have always in the Machlegs and the Gemara, it's a kibush yachid, shmei kibush. Is it considered like Yeshua when he, when he captured Eretz Yisrael? That's a serious. Caption. But Syria, he did it for his own benefit. It doesn't have help. And he, it was together with Eretz Yisrael. He said, Syria and Eretz Yisrael is one. Okay. So, now Chala, if you hold Kibush Yachid Shmei Kibush, that Dabra Melech has the right to capture another city, another country. It's a serious capture. It's part of Eretz Yisrael. What's the word? Annex. annex, that's it. He, he, an, he annexed it? Annex, yes. Annexed it. Not a next. A next? No, he says a next. Okay. okay, in Panovich they didn't say the annex. Annex. A next. 
It makes sense to me. Next, it's neither. Either says that. Who knows more, the doctor or the lawyer? So the lawyer in this case. Right. In this case. No, he's a guy that studies. Okay. Is it the father-in-law or the son-in-law? That's what I wanted to know. But he, he I mean, he has, his English has to be pretty decent. He gets up there in front of the court. Uh, okay. Fine. He next the two are destroyed, and therefore what? Chala would be what? A chiyov do So if they're eating chala, that portion that we go ahead and we burn in the toaster oven, whatever we do on top of the flame, whatever, that piece goes to an individual that's a raya that is a kayan. And he can marry a milchas. V'chilok matonois bikrochim. So here is the famous picture we once did for the new guy. Here we have a guy who's only two days old in this year. We once took an animal, a sheep. We went next door. We shechted it. We got Rabbi David, the one that wrote the, he's the authority on chulun, on animals. And he gave us a demonstration. Opened up every part and showed us this is this. This is the, this is what the kidney looks like. And that's why the Gemara calls it like this. It's an unbelievable thing. Next time we'll have to do it like right before Zvachim, not after Zvachim. But anyway, hmm. when it was all over, I, since I purchased that animal at the time, so it was mine. So I had the, the schos, the first and only time I ever did it, I gave the matanas to my chavrusa. The chavrusa is married to a daughter of a kind, and therefore he can receive those matanas. Not, I mean, there's some stuff in there that's edible. A lot of it is a little scary. There's a plastic bag there. You don't want to know what's in there. It's like the whole intestine. Okay, that's part of the matanas. You give it to him. So if he gets the matanas, he gets this in wherever he lives, in the Krach. That's a Raya. And that's in Chutz Laretz. Because these Matanas, believe it or not, Chiddush, these Matanas apply in Chutz Laretz. Okay? I'm not saying Bismanazet. But when the, the idea of Matanas is also in Chutz Laretz. So they're sitting in Bavel. Anybody that received one of these gifts, Raya is a Kaya. Okay. Ketani Mi has the Siyas Kapayim. But one of the things is, Duchani, my love, Liuchsen. What's the raya for? We're trying to see if people can marry him. If he has good yichos, he's a kayin. La I don't know, I was just thinking about it. The, uh, this kayin gene, anybody know about it? Is it only, it goes from ben achar ben achar ben? And it doesn't transfer through women? It does not transfer through women, says Danny Fine. It's a YSTR. YSTR. It's only on the Y chromosome. Ah, it's only on the Y chromosome. Wow, you see, he's not even a doctor. He outbeat his father-in-law again. He's good. He's very proud. Shepping nachas. YSTR. What's what shaykhs? You had to bring it up in court once. Stop it. You did. Not for a kayim, please. Don't tell me. Okay. Wow, it's unbelievable. So today, with DNA testing, you can see he's a kayim. Dan 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 dan. And you know, it's uh, another thing that's amazing. I mean, it hit me when I was in the deal. All these guys are brothers with all these Ashkenazim, or unless the Ashkenazim are all fakers. And they're all, they all have the same DNA. Just over the years, they ended up in, in Syria, and they ended up, we're talking about Syria here. Mama Syria, these are Syrians. Unbelievable. Huh? Because the rest are fakers, Rabbi Schoenberg. Well, don't tell me you don't have that gene now. Did you do? <laughs> Okay, it's only a certain percentage. I'm saying, but whatever. It's possible that there is something else. It's unbelievable, though. The whole idea is that from the time of Yisam Midas, they, they kept the tradition and unbelievable. Okay. By Lali Yilson, Lai Latruma. We're trying to see whether or not they could eat Truma, not whether or not they can marry in. But if it's in the same sentence as Chala, it says like this. Chazak Lakuna, again. Mesius Kapayim Bevavel, Achilas Chala, Bechilog Matonis Bikrochen. So, it's similar to Achilles Chal. Ma Achilles Chal lo yuchsin, Avnisius Kapayim lo yuchsin. Says Gemara, Luchari, you see from here, what, what else are you eating Chala for? You, you're trying to prove from Chala something. If the person eats Chala, what could he do? He could eat Chala. If he's eating Chala, he can marry somebody else. That's what we're trying, it's something else. We say, somebody who eats Chala, it's a very big chazaka that, that's something else, that he can marry. Loi. Achilas chal gufa litruma. From the fact that he eats chala, you see from there that he could also get truma. Yes. 
says the Gemara, Kosov Archal, Bizman as a Dirabono. Or Truma de Raiso, Truma de Raiso, Chalos de Rabono, according to this man, Omar. Umaskino Mechal de Rabono, the Truma de Raiso. And by just seeing a guy eating Chalos, which is only the Rabono, we could give him something that's the Raiso. Ukita Apichlo, Ravuna Bereda, we show the Rabono, as we're going to see in a second, that Ravuna flipped it around. Toshma, that what? Chazaka the Kuno. What's a good chazraka, a raya that somebody's a kayan, a siyus kapayim, bechiluk, grona is barit yisrael. What does that mean? So the first one we had already. If a person does brikas kehanim, raya is a kayan. Uh, here, here's grona. Here's a picture. A granary. Is that what you say? A granary. Okay. You say whatever you want. Is it granary or granary? <laughs> At least I'm not a total fool. Okay, everything I said so far is machlaikis. But, but, <laughs> help me out here. It's machlaikis. Everything's machlaikis. Fine. The granary. What's a granary? All the wheat is there. And you see, they're dealing with it, they're storing it. And then the Koyhana would show up there and say, okay, give us, pay us up. We need our 2%, our 10%, whatever. True mice is 2%. So, if they go to the granice, we'll just call it, a, here, granice, it comes from this word, granice, granary, okay. Ubisurya, b'chomokim sheshluchu reish chodesh magim, nesiyus kapayim raya. Anywhere that the shliach of Bezin comes and says, hey, it was reish chodesh and this and this day, and this is important for what? Here's Shui, so tomorrow we'll read his email. Ah, he finally woke up. That's the email. He says in the email, thank you for waking me up every day. It's Kishmak. Otherwise, I'd sleep to 10 o'clock. Shui, get, get over here. Get over here, This is not his first time up here. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's better to come late than not to come at all. It's better to come even for two minutes. Remember the guy used to come, and I don't want to say his name, used to come at the end of Shir for two, three minutes. Fine. And eventually it was two minutes, then one minute, and now today, Bar Hashem, zero. <laughs> <laughs> so, as long as a, a shliach, the messenger from Bezdin, could get there in 15 days to tell people it's Pesach, then it's a raya. The Siyas Kapayim raya. Then, if you do duchening in that place, then it's a raya. Avaloi chiluk gronois. Now, sorry. Just because the shliach can get there and they're, they're divvying up the wheat in the granos, that's not a right. But bavel, even though it's how far away is bavel from Eretz Yisrael, more than 15 days away. Then it has the locha of Syria, which it's a raya if somebody duchens there. Why? Why is bavel so special? Like we said before, bavel has a bezden. Bavel, if somebody duchens, we know that he's, he's the real deal. Remember the famous Alexandria? They, they had a shoulder with thousands of people and they raised the flag. And unfortunately, they all were wiped out. But the point is, and the Ritva asks, who cares about Alexandria? It's, 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 it's history. What does that have to do with us today? Because anytime you have a strong Bezdin like in Alexandria, you'll have the same Allah. That is the point. The point is the Bezdin. So anytime there's a Bezdin, they take care of Klai Yisrael. There's no monkey business. You can't just get up there and start doing Birkas Kahana when you're not a Kayim. If somebody gets up there, you know that he went through the system and they allowed it. Again, same kind of Raya. But it says, Isn't that to prove our question? Could you marry into somebody who does Duchening? Is it a Raya that is a Kayim? Loi, Lechala. All it shows, all we're trying to prove that he could get chala. Says Gemara, do me the chilu gronos katani. Ma chilu gronos liuchsen, after the kapayim liuchsen, same question as we have before, but not something else. Aren't these, all these things the same in this b'raisa? Talking about yuchsen, loy, chilu gronos guva lechala. Gronos, from the granary, granary, is all just to show that he could receive chala, but not to marry him. Says the Gemara, kosovar trumba bizman azedra, bono the chala doi raisa. He holds that truma, and this is how we paskin, truma in our days is the Rabbanon. And chala is the Raisa. Umaskinam truma the Rabbanon, chala the Raisa. Very similar sugi like we had 10 lines before. 
We could take it to Rabbanon, based on the Rabbanon, that if this guy is eating truma all day and night, but you're right, it's only the Rabbanon. Based on that, we could bring him up a level and give him chala, which is more severe. So the Raisa, Ukedash Kechinu, Rav Huna B'Rei, Rav Yeshua, the Rabbanon. Don't Rav Huna B'Rei, Rav Yeshua, the Yeshua. Ashkechinu, the Rabbanon, Bevei Rav. Rashi says, Bevei Rav is not the house of Rav, rather it's the base Medrash. I saw the Rabbanon base Medrash. Yes, we can. Feel him, I don't have truma, but the Rabbanon. Even if you hold a truma in our days of the Rabbanon, Chal the Raisa. I'll prove to you the chala is more severe, is more chomer than truma, is the raisa. How do I know? Because, Sharei Sheva Shekim Shuvah Sheva Shechilku is Chayi B'chala. When Klai Yisrael went to Yisrael, it took them seven years to conquer, thank you, and seven years to divide up the land. Total of 14 years. During those 14 years, is Chayi B'chala. There's a Chayi B'chala. So what do you see? This is the raisa. V'loin is Chayi B'chala. I had a hard time understanding it exactly because Rashi says it has to be like this, this psukim. So it doesn't really show that it's the rice and not the rice. So truma is not totally in the same thing as chala. But okay, that's his raya. Right away when they came in, they were chayav chala. Truma not so much. And I told them fakert, and that's the apoch. This is the fakert. This is how he flipped it. I feel the mandoma truma is man as the rice. Even if you hold truma is the rice. Okay, they hold is the rabbana and chala is the rice. I'm telling you the opposite. Even if you hold Trumas the Raisa, Chal the Rabbanon. I'll prove to you that Chal is only the Rabbanon. Why? The Sanyu Bevoyachem Eloharet. You come in Tarit Yisrael. When Chla Yisrael walks in Tarit Yisrael, that's when you chayv in Chal. Says the Gemara, that what? I Bevoyachem Yochal Mishnechnes Ula Shnayim Ushleishem Raglim. Maybe it means two or three Yidin. How do you know all? Tavloim Bevoyachem Bevias Kuchem Amar Tavloim Bevias Miksaschem. It needs to be the Rav, fifty-one percent. V'chiaskinu Ezra, Dav Chafel with Beis. Lav Kulu Solok. We know how many went into Eretz Yisrael with Ezra? 40,000, a little over 40,000. So Mela, there was no Chi of Chal then. It's very interesting. Oh? If, not, if our population in Eretz Yisrael grows to 51%, it is. It is. More so we have, to, we have to ask the Shiloh. This is a very interesting Shiloh for today. It just happened today, this year, the two years ago. Are there more Jews? I don't know. Yeah, but there's a lot of Jews around the world. There's about 7 million in Bar Park. Okay. okay. Let's say it is. Are we chayiv? Is now chiyuv chala just turned into dairaisa? First time in history for, uh, since you know that time. We have set, we have a roiv in Eretz Yisrael, Baruch Hashem. Somebody just wrote me an email today. I'll just say he says maybe MDY could get together and give us some advice about making aliyah. You have so many people that made aliyah. Give us good good tips. Who the best broker in town is? <laughs> we have a few of them. Who's the best tour guide? We have a bunch of them. Okay. Who's the best Dafi Yamishir? <laughs> Nobody left. <laughs> best seminary. But he doesn't take it. people that live in Eretz Israel. Only people from Chuslaritz. Nah. He tries, right? You take people from here also. There you go. Yeah. If they build buildings like in uh, Bardak. Kamat <laughs> Tzarich. Primia? Primia. Okay. Zogti Yimara. Elav Kulso. Fine. Says this is sponsored by Moishi Horn in honor of Zach. Now I want to tell you something. It came to my attention that Moishi Horn is wondering, Kale, Playo, this, the, the, the guy, the, the, the best basketball player in the world. All these people that he sponsors for are people that are just starting the daf as friends. He wants to encourage them to start the daf and learn the daf. And for that he spends. They, they, they're still going. Because if they don't go, he keeps on going. Uh, the Kale Twins, yeah. I met one of them, I think. Moishi Orn, in honor of Zach the Rock Rocklin and Lenny Lerner, CPA. We're going to do the daft for boys. said they're doing the daft. Yankel Cohen, the official MDY MSP. Hoodie Newman, also only sponsors from Agadish Shurim that are going to continue the daft in honor of Rebelli, the real greatest Jewish basketball player who ever lived. Toshma. Chazaka Lukuhuna. Again, the same thing. What's a chazaka for kahuna? How do I know somebody is a kayin? Nesiyas kapayin bechilu granois. If they give him grain in the granary, ve'edus. Oh, if somebody testifies about someone and says, this guy, his father was a kayin, but that's not enough, right? 
just to say somebody's father is a kain is not enough because maybe the mother is who knows what. So I have to testify. The father is a kain, the mother is a, a kosher woman, the kid is not a halal, he's a kain. Eidos. Ask the Gemara, listen to you what you're saying. The top line says, Tashma, chazaka l'kuna. What's a chazaka? What's the status quo of, of kuna? One of the things is eidos, testimony. Eidos and chazaka are two different things. There's nothing more powerful than eidos. See that? If you have Edom, you have a Chazaka. It's not true. You have Edom, not a Chazaka. It's much stronger. Edom Chazaki, El Alav Achikoma. This is what he meant to say. Edom is not one of them. What he's trying to say is that had I proved Kuhuna, Nesius Kapayim and Chilogronos. That what? Only two things. Nesius Kapayim Ki Edom. If a guy gets up in Duchens, it's like testimony from Edom that he's a true Kayan. Ma'idus Liyuchsen. So, Lachayr, we have a good Raya. Because when two Edom come and say so-and-so is a Kayan, that's the best ever. He can marry anybody he wants. So my, this is I'm going to see this Lie. Once again, we're going to slug it up. Not a good raya. Edos haba mikoya chazaka kachazaka. We're not talking about Edom that show up here and say, we're not saying that it's like Edom that showed up and said, this guy is 100% a Kayan. These are Edom that are testifying about a chazaka. What does that mean? Ki ha'ud ha'asalakam in the Rebbe Ami. A guy said, I know that he's a kain. How do I know? Om alei mari yiso. Where's Uriah? So in other words, he's testifying, but not that he, he saw his birth certificate. Not that he knows his father. He saw a chazaka. What did he see? Om alei shekari rishon v'yisakneses. Shalom aleichem. I saw in Chicago that this guy always got kain. When there's Aliyah, everybody bought him Kayan and Simchas Taira, he got the Kayan. I know that. Oh, it's the last one anyway. Okay. Oh, Malay Shikar, Rishon Vesak Nessus. No, it's not the last one. Sorry, I need it. Becheskas Shu Kayan, Oi Becheskas says, so he asked him, Who in the world told you that because he got the first Aliyah, he's a Kayan? Maybe Becheskas Shu Kayan, Oi Becheskas Shu Gadol. Rav, the Galadar, what Aliyah did he get? Not Shishi, like the, the Hasidim and the Gro, and not Shlishi, like all the Roshivas. He got Rishon. So check this out. I don't know if you could uh, make anything out from this chart. I tried my hardest. There's a lot of stuff here, but there's, there's lines to, to separate. What do we do every day? We do Kayan, Levi, Yisrael. What if there's no Kayan? So there's a shita that says that only Yisraelim get. No, even there's 25 Levim in the shul, they don't get an aliyah. They only get an aliyah if there's a kayin. What is that called? Nisparda chavila. The bundle broke up. Once you don't have a kayin, then the levi gets zero. The other shita is that, let's say there was a Yisrael, because he's a gadol, like Rab. Who gets the next aliyah? The Kayan. And then the third Ali is a Levi. It will be Yisrael, Kayan, Levi, like the third in the third line. What do we do today? Not like that and like that. We, if there's no Kayan, we give a Levi the first Aliyah. And then go Yisrael. But a Levi never gets, a Levi never gets in our days, he never gets a Shani, Shlishi, Revi. Never gets the rest of the Aliyahs. Oh, okay. You, but you could. Either, yeah. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying a levy. So says the Gemara, okay, forget about what we do. Forget about the first thing. Forget about the second thing. We need the two center lines. It's either Yisrael, 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 zero levy. Or a levy, if there's a Kayan, should get the Shlishi. He shouldn't get a Shani. Okay. Toiv Lachdim a levy, says the Mishmur. Okay. Fine. Yeah. What? Reish. Reish, Aleph? What's the simon though? You don't want to go there. What? Zichru does simon for Mishnah Burna also? We're going to the next. Okay. Says the Gemara. Again. The guy comes to Bez and he says, Rabbi Isai, I saw this guy get kain. So he tells him, the Rav tells him, who told you? Maybe, he's not, a, maybe there was a, a Godel Adar, a Godel Batayra. So he says, Shekara Achrav Levi. Sorry, he got Kayan. I saw this guy get Kayan. 
How do I know he's a coin? Maybe he's a, a Rosh Hashiva. He's a Chashva guy. He's Rav. Rav got coin. Not coin. He got Risha. He says, no. Because I saw that immediately after the Aliyah, a Levi got up. Now, if you look at the two center boxes, that's not a possibility. A Levi, if a Yisrael is first, a Levi doesn't get anything. He's out. Nisparda Chavila. He doesn't get an Aliyah, according to one Shita. And even according to the second Shita in Rashi, Rashi brings the two Shitas, he'll get Shlishi, but he won't get Shani. I saw with my own eyes that there was a Levi afterwards. It's a Raya. You see, this guy's a Tamachacham. It's a Raya that he was a Kayan, not a Yisrael. So you see, based on his Chazaka, Eidus on a Chazaka, Reb Ami said, okay, he could be a Kayan. What's real Eidus? Real Eidus is real Eidus. It's the top of the line. We're saying it's weak. Oh no, that he knows his father, he knows the mother. The both, the both, the both taught, the father was a real Kayan, I know for a fact. And the mother was not, a, was not a grusha, she was a perfect person. And Memela, the kid, is a real kind. That's real aid, that there's nothing, nothing to discuss. Okay. The Chazanish says from here, you see, that a person that, you're not supposed to get up to Aliyah by yourself. You need Reb Ami to say you could get up there. And since in our day and age, there's no Bezden to Paskin who gets up, people get up all the time. I mentioned yesterday, somebody in our shul here, somebody in the shir, he, he found out somehow he's a levy, so he started giving him levy, but there's no bezin or anything. So in Melo, you can't pass it on it. That's why, you, you ever have a question, how come there's no miser for Levim today? Because we don't have strong evidence that they're Levim. Because anybody could just get up, and in our case, he's a levy actually. This guy's a levy. So he's going to start giving him miser based on the fact that he decided on his own without any... Uh, nobody went through the, the what happened. The, the, he heard something. It's a rumor. So that's why there's no Maiser Bizman Azir, says the Chazanish. Okay. What? Hazaki have to accept the fact that he goes back. He's Eid Nemon. He's Eid Nemon. No, no, no. He's not. That's what we're saying. A person is not believed in himself. And that's the whole sugi. A person is not believed in himself. And the only way a person could get an Aliyah and be, be a Miyuchas is... Not aliyah, be a miyuchas, le, whatever, to meiser and other things. It's based on his aliyah, if he has a chazog and his aliyah, and we, we establish through a bezin that it's a good aliyah, it's a good birkus kehanim. But just a guy decides on his own that he's a kain or a levi, that's not enough for us. The fact that we give him aliyah, we accept it. No, that's who's we? We're not a bezin. We're nobody. Nobody's going to get up and say, hey, you're a liar, you're, you made it up, you're, you're, you're a chalal. Who knows your, your lineage? You know that you come from a non from family, and who knows what happened there? Nobody says anything. He decides a kayan, Shema Yisrael is a kayan. We're not going to base real halachas, the racist, on, on that guy. Sorry. There's a story, somebody came to Yishu Ben Levi. Oh my lay. Same story, just with the Levi. Instead of, I know for a fact that he's a kayan, I know for a fact that he's a Levi. Omer lay. Moro Yisa. What do you see? I saw him get Levi. Says Gemara, Levi, Now, what does it mean, Becheskes Shulevi, a boy side? What is enough Gemina for Levi? For what? Yeah, same story, but what's the difference? A Kayan makes a difference. He get, who he marries and then he gets uh, Tuchening. What? Wash his hands. <laughs> wash hands, anybody, even a Bukhar can wash hands. Oh, uh, uh, for my sir. That's the thing. For Meiser. Very good. Who said it? I don't know, but somewhere over there. Meiser. That is the Nafkimina. Could we give him Meiser? In those days they gave him Meiser. Says Gemara, but perhaps he's not a Levi. Maybe he's just a Chashva Yisrael. Maybe he's just a Chashva Yisrael. Says Gemara, Shekara, Lefana of Kayan. There's another Kayan there. There's two Kayanim. And the Kayan got Aliyah before him. Now, by the way, if there are two Kayhanim, what do we do today? Today, one Kayan gets both Aliyahs. But it seems from Rashi that they would split it up between two Kayhanim. Says Gemara, Below Rabbi Shubh and Levi, the Levi Alpi. So again, so here again, we have a guy testifying on a Chazaka. I saw an Aliyah, and based on that, since he got these Aliyahs, he's a Levi. 
I would also recommend the rich Lakish. Oh, my lady, who's going to be there? Who's Listen to this story. Guy comes to Rish Lakish. And he says, I know for a fact he's a coin. Oh, my lady, Mary, so prove it to me. Oh, my lady, Shakar, Rishon, he's a Knesset, he got the first Aliyah. Oh, my lady, so Rish Lakish says, Reisif Shechilik ala Granois. Did he go to the granary? Did, did, did you see him eating Truma? Oh, my lady, Rebel Lazar, Pops in Rebel Lazar. Vim Ancham Gore and Batlakuna. You hear the words? These are the words. Vim Ancham Gore and Batlakuna. What, in a city that they don't have a granary, then there's no Kayanim? Ali is not enough. Says Gemara story. Later on, they were sitting in front of Rabbi Yochanan. You see, Benny, the story happens different times. Another story, same exact thing happened in front of Rabbi Yochanan. Now Rish Lakish is going with his own theory that, hey, Granary, well, what, what, what's this business about Aliyah? Just, you're not going to base anything in Aliyah. Let, let's see if people give him food, if they give him truma. Does this sound familiar? He said the same exact words that Rebbe Laza said before. If there's no granary, what? We're not going to have kuhuna? What? There's no proof, that's it, we're done with proof. Obviously, uh, uh, an Aliyah is proof. Says the Gemara, Had the Rebbe Laza bishos. Rish Lakish stared down Rebbe Laza, he's really mad at him. Omar, Shamis Mili de Barnafcho, Vleyamis Lamishmei. What? You heard, you heard these exact words from Rabbi Yochanan Barnafcho, the, the son of a blacksmith. That was his name. His father was a blacksmith. You heard this from him and nothing? Now, in Makkas, we have the same exact thing that Rabbi Lazar repeated over something from Rabbi Yochanan. It happens to be that Rabbi Lazar was Rabbi Yochanan's greatest Talmud, biggest Talmud. And Rosh Lakish was upset at him. Why are you saying it over in your name? Well, the Gemara explains, I think, that, I forgot who explains. Somebody explains that since he was the biggest Talmud, it was obvious that everything he says is from Rabbi Yochanan anyway. But I'll, I will remind you the Gemara. First of all, the Gemara in Yavamas, we just had in the Tzadik Vavam Beis, that Rabbi Yochanan was upset, that Rabbi Lazar said over, maybe that's where we learned it. That, well, how come you didn't say it in my name? And if you don't say it, if you don't say it, the lips are not going to move in the kever. What's very interesting is that we once learned, I forgot what Masechta, that Rish Lakish would not talk to, he would not walk in the street with Rebbe Lazar. Because anybody that walked with, with Rish Lakish in the street, they would lend him money on the, on the spot. And he was like, no, Rebbe Lazar is not. But it turns out that Rebbe Lazar became the Galadar of the next generation, etc. Okay, fine. But he's upset at him. Why are you stealing this? Why are you pretending that... That, uh, that you made this up, you made up this line. This line came from your Rebbe, Rabbi Yochanan. There's a Shaila, I saw an interesting Shaila, the Chelkas Yaakov says that when it comes to Divri Agadata, maybe you don't have to say it in the name of Shem Amr, only Allahas. And then the Naidib Yudha goes off, he says a very, very, very sharp lotion on him, and he says, How can you say that? It all comes from the same shepherd, Agada, Halacha is all from the same. In fact, you see, Rabbi Shimba Yechai says, Halacha is of Sayyidina Yaakov. It's Agada, but it, it's called the halacha. Everything is halacha. All tires halacha. Okay. It all has to, you have to say B'Shem Amrei. Says the Gemara. Oh, the Chazi, Rebbe and Rebbe Chia says the Gemara. Two, two of them. Rebbe and Rebbe Chia. Chad helo ben al pi over likuna. The father testified on his son that he's a good coin. So he said, okay, let him get duchen. Vechad helo och al pi och ev levio. Not duchen, but you know, liichos. And the other one, we don't know which one, Rebbe or Rebbe Chia. Based on a brother's testimony, says the Gemara. This dying there, Rebbe Hello Ben Alpi Aviv Likuna. Let's prove that it's Rebbe that said the son. If we know that Rebbe said son, then we know Rebbe Chia said brother. This Anya Arish above Amar Benizek Bekainu. Here's the exact case we're talking about. This is my son. He's a kain. Nemon lahachilo betruma. You see, Mefurish that Rebbe says, and it's going to say Divri Rebbe, that you believe him for truma. So fathers believe for a son. Ben Nemon lasi Yisha, but not for Yichos. Divri Rebbe. Okay, so now we see Rebbe is the one that says a father is believing in the son. Only Rebbe Chia, I'm not a man. If you're going to believe him for one, believe him for everything. For Yichus also. If you're not going to believe him for one, don't believe him for anything. Explains Rebbe. A father could give, if a father knows, he knows. He knows this is my son. So he'll give him truma. There's no isr in it. But you, he can't marry him off. Bezin won't allow it. How do you know it's my son? Yeah, a guy lives in a, in a neighbor for 20 years. All of a sudden he says, oh, you see this guy? He's my son. 
Where was he for the last 20 years? Eh, I can't tell you. This is a story, a long story. But he happens to be a Kayan. We're not going to believe him. But if he knows that he's his son, he'll give him truma. This time. That's it. This time, so it's a great raya. Since we see a mefurish, that Rebbe is the one that said you can believe a father, then Rebbe Okay, so we'll stop here. Rabboisai, have a wonderful day and a wonderful week.